No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Hello again, and welcome back to Scott Wands World. Fat ugly ones back with another one of these little bullshit beer reviews. Wanda sat outside the shed. Say hello, Wanda. Hello, it's a sunny day. I say hello, Wanda. Oh, hello, Wanda. <laughs> Didn't get it. Oh. <laughs> and we got Hugo, as ever, not dumping on the decking, so we're doing all right. We're doing all right today. Um, been into Morrison's on my way home. We'll pop in, see what's going on. They got two or three new beers. Uh, one of them's a Timothy is it Timothy Taylor's uh, IPA, Tropical Summer Storm or something. So it said it's Dean. He sent it back. And I said, yeah, that's the one. I think he said it was in Waitrose as well. Uh, there's another Northern Monk one. I think another one of the Eternal Range. And this one caught my eye. <laughs> Shoot a pen. Uh, yeah, this one caught my eye for obvious reasons. Um, it's a Northern Monk up in, uh, in the Leeds, I think, up in Yorkshire. And this one is their Flake and Sauce Ice Cream Pail. Wanda says it sounds nice. I'm going to think it's going to be £3.25 pound, uh, three pound twenty-five wasted. Ice cream pale ale, 5% ABV. Like the camera. Now, when I saw it, my instinct said, it sounds quite similar to a beer that they put into the supermarket. It's Morrison's, actually. Not long ago. You're not going to be able to see this. It's so faded. And they're Neapolitan um, ice cream pale ale. Obviously made with strawberry rather than raspberry. And this one very definitely states... On the side, it's not a soft and it's not a soft and creamy ice cream without a flake and sauce, vanilla, raspberry, and chocolate. It's not firm, I'm joking. I thought I knew I pushed that button. <laughs> I knew I pushed it. So yeah, she's having me on. Ingredients: the all important ingredients. Wonder ah chocolate. Water, malted barley, lactose, raspberry puree, hops, chocolate essence, vanilla, raspberry essence, and yeast. So, absolutely rammed full of adjuncts. Interesting price point as well. So most beers are going to these supermarkets. So three pound, Tesco, Morrison's, the bigger supermarkets. Not talking about Lidl or Aldi. Generally in the three pound, three fifty, four pound price range. This one, three pound twenty five. Wonder. Interesting. What do we make of that then? Maybe it was meant to be three pound, but with all the prices going up, that's the twenty five. So the three pound is now three pound twenty five as yeah. the base point. Because all the other new ones in there were three pound twenty-five. Yeah. So the three pound is gone. Three pound twenty-five is now your new baseline, yeah. new beer price. I, I agree. But I don't know. Nor do I wonder, but it sounds plausible. Ice cream pale ale. Not a fantastic fan of ice cream of of milkshake pale ales, ice cream pale ales. But Jesus. Um, I'm gonna go into it as friendly as I can. I'm going to use my new awakening glass that we picked up the weekend. It's quite raspberry. Pink. Yeah. A bit of chocolate in a pale ale. Not for me. Anyway, in a glass, Wanda. Pinky colour. Sort of raspberry colour. Finger of... It looks like a sour. Does look like a sour. Completely agree. Guess it, don't forget, you don't like the sweet stuff. So you probably won't enjoy it. I'm not allowed to forget, I don't like the sweet stuff. Correct, you I don't. like all the bitter and sour stuff. Whereas I'm a bitter and sour stuff. man, wonder. So, yeah. For me, the predominant aroma on that is raspberry 
I can't say I'm picking up any chocolate. Maybe some vanilla. It does smell an adjunct mess. Bonda, you gonna have a smell? Swirling. Hang on, swirling smell, so I'm gonna pop the um, microwave one, uh, microwave, microphone one does way. Well, hang on, what did you get in smell wise? Nick and neck in it already. Cheating. Smells definitely raspberry. Well, you might have to tell us what it tastes like now. You had no, a, you had a, you had a, you had a, yeah, it's horrible and too sweet. Anyway, if you want to see Wanda back in beer reviews, then put a thumbs up. Oh my Christ. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, where do I start? Oh, there's a horrible, horrible end. No, there isn't. It's sweet. It's like a fizziness. It's like a fizzy sweet a little bit. You're not going to like it because you like the bitter stuff. Oh, it's that's not bitter horrible. At all. That is, oh, it's the end. The end is horrendous. The, the, the beginning ain't much cop. Um, you get... You get that raspberry. It is horrible. You do pick up some chocolate. That's horrible. And then you get this really... Is it because you rather bitter? Stuff? No, 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 no. I'm trying to be objective. I'll be polite. Okay. Um, <coughs> it's bec and it, then you get this really. I can't describe the end. I'm struggling. It's like a fizz. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. No, it's. I can't, I, I can't describe to you how much I detest the end of that beer. Um, it's got this really lingering, metallic, metallic um, flavour profile thing at the end. That What comes before that isn't particularly good. And then you get this metallic horrificness that finishes it off. For my palate, borderline undrinkable. Uh, what do you think, Wanda? Have another sip. Let's be honest. You're going to be finishing this one, not me. say about that metallic end no, no. Uh, that's not for me i'm afraid uh, in any way the adjuncts are fighting against each other and you got this horrible metallic end for me on my palette wonder likes it um it's all right it's not my favorite for me one of the worst beers i've had out of the supermarket I Buy it personally. No. I'll try it and be like, oh yeah, it's all right. I'll drink it. I'll the one thing I will say about it, and it's positive nature, the 5.7% is well hidden. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Got that right. The, the, 3%. the rest of it, shocking. Uh, Northern Monk, Flake and Sauce, Ice Cream Pale Ale. From Wonder, you're going to get a. All right. It's all right. That's a thumbs in the middle. Right. I haven't got enough thumbs to describe how bad I think that beer is. It's got a bit of sweetness to it, it? No, it's a horrible end as well, I don't like it. No, how wild I think it's... Oh, right, yeah, 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 well, you, you've got to sweet. Buy it again. No, um, I'd rather buy... What would I rank that with? Some of the worst beers I've had on this channel. Oh, no, it definitely ain't the worst one for me. 
<laughs> what was the worst one you've had? That horrible 18% in the The OJs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were crap, were they? Yeah, they were horrific. Yeah, they were good fun. Fun days. <laughs> anyway, um, it's new into Morrison's. If you've got £3.25, I'd spend it elsewhere, if I'm honest. Um, there's better beers for 25p cheap. If they've got tram in there at £3.54, quid, pick tram up. Um, because that is shocking. Um, if you like the video, really give a thumbs up. If you don't, give a thumbs down. Um, that's getting all of them. Uh, there's a subscribe button if you're new here. Me wandering the dog. We'll see you soon. <laughs>